A lot of people ask what is impact investing and it's very straightforward. Essentially it means that when you make your investment you're thinking about impact with real intention and then not only are you making that investment, you're accountable for outcomes and for measuring those outcomes transparently. What we're finding is that there's a real growing urgency around the whole topic of impact investing. People are realising that they're investing with impact every single day. Every single penny they spend has impact. But now people are saying, I want to know what that impact is. I want it measured. I want my investment manager or my lending officer to tell me what's happening to my money. And there's also a growing desire to see investing for impact, where you know exactly what you want to achieve. There's a growing awareness that just because you don't own a particular asset, that you don't have a direct involvement in something that might be doing harm, it doesn't make the problem go away. So people are moving away from the A of avoidance and into the B of thinking, how can I make sure I'm creating benefits with my money? And then for the real impact investor, benefits are not enough either. They want to contribute to solutions. Starting out in my career, where my money goes is really important to me. Part of that is a pension fund. We all want high yields, but more than anything, what I really want is for my money to be used to impact society positively. Our very purpose at our asset management arm, Aberdeen Standard Investments, is to invest for a better future. It's what we're about. It's how we believe we can make a real difference for our clients, our people, and of course, the communities we operate in. I have been talking about this for over 20 years and suddenly it's a conversation that's taking place all across the world. So the way I think about impact investing is that it isn't so much a separate asset class, it's a way of investing across the whole range of, of, of assets and one can do that in a way which delivers impact, by which I mean we change the lives of the people who are ultimately affected by that investment. There are many, many examples of people doing this and doing it well, and so I would say to those who are not yet investing for impact that they ought to learn from and be inspired by, by those people. In 2019, we launched the CBRE UK Affordable Housing Fund. It is one of the first unlisted UK real estate funds delivering an impact investment product for the wider capital markets. It delivers financial performance to our clients in particular, stable long-term income, which has got implicit inflation tracking, and the asset class is a great diversifier in multi-asset portfolios. The CBRE Affordable Housing Fund has two particular objectives, first being provision of additional housing across the country, and second one being about bringing a new form of equity capital to the affordable and social housing sector Key Fund's a social enterprise itself and we invest in other community enterprises and social enterprises. We want to help them to grow and develop, deliver more impact and be more sustainable in financial terms. Ultimately what we're trying to achieve is to help those organisations to have a real impact in their communities. We believe that putting the tools in the hands of local people who understand those communities, who understand their beneficiaries, will ultimately lead to better outcomes. We need more money into social businesses and into the social impact economy, not just because community is where we thrive and where we create resilient places together, but also this is how we understand how to move through social, ecological and political crises together with new ideas and innovation. JMPF's Local Property Fund has twin aims, to deliver commercial rates of return for the pension fund and to provide regeneration for local communities. The returns generated by the local property portfolio are consistent with the liabilities of the pension fund, delivering long-term secure index-linked cash flows. LGPS funds are working together to deliver investments at scale that both deliver the returns required and promote significant regeneration of local areas. So the Institute represents the coming together of some existing initiatives that have been running for some years, the National Advisory Board on Impact Investing, and the task force that was set up to open up that investing to, uh, to people at large in the UK. And so we're part of a movement which has been around for a while and it's a global movement so that the Institute will be the UK uh, body within something called the Global Steering Group which now has organisations in some 25 going on 30 countries worldwide. 
The Impact Investing Institute's been set up because we recognise with this growing demand for a focal point, not just in the UK, but also to engage globally, we need to have a professional, well-run organisation that can really act to catalyse and speed up what's happening in the UK and take the benefits internationally, and at the same time bring international ideas and thought leadership back into the UK. The Impact Investing Institute is going to do three things. It's going to deliver specific projects, it's going to influence key initiatives and it's going to amplify the work of others. The Impact Investing Institute really wants to work with you all, with everyone, to really scale up impact, to bring together capital with purpose so that we can really improve people's lives.